Hey guys, it's your girl Shalay and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. In today's video, we're going to discuss the latest on the second stimulus check. We also are going to talk about unemployment, some assistance programs that's going out there, as well as Ask Shalay. You know on the weekends, I answer your questions that you submit. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy, click the big old red subscribe button down below and you're in just like that. And while you're ready, go ahead and give me a like because you love me and you're not sleep like Nate Robinson, okay? Who watched that fight last night? OMG was up past my bedtime, but when I tell you, Let's just say we're gonna give it up to the YouTube creators, okay? Right now, go ahead, Jake Paul, another fellow content creator here on YouTube, which this is the perfect time to add that shameless plug. If you have not, okay, if you have not purchased how to build your brand on YouTube, how to grow a channel and make money fast, go ahead and get a copy because you know what? Jake is making 600,000 for the fight, but his video on YouTube already has almost like 5 million views. So he's gonna make more on YouTube than he did from the fight. Now that's a cool knockout, right? All right, so guys, let's go ahead and jump directly into it. Also, I went live yesterday. So for those that were able to catch the live, we had a whole coming to Jesus Kumbaya moment. All right, check out that live as well. Right now in Texas, many North Texans are still hoping that Congress pass a second stimulus bill. So Congressman Colin Alred, as well as Van Taylor, they spoke with Fox 4 News about the real movement of what's going on in Washington. And they said, hey, the reporter asked, what do we have to do to get past this gridlock situation? And he said, I think that there are solutions. I think that really people are being adults about this and getting in the room and staying in the room. And we need to really say, let's just get something done. Both congressmen said, hey, I'm still hopeful. I have been hopeful the entire time because the need is so tremendous. The election is over and President Donald Trump is in what is called the lame duck period. Now, usually during this time, nothing much is done in Congress and meaning because as of right now, it's kind of like that transition of power, which is supposed to be happening in Congress right now. But with the pandemic slowing things down, Congress does want to pass a bill now. And he's saying, look, we can't wait till January 20th before Joe Biden is sworn in. We have to do something before then. We are headed into the holiday season and there are a lot of folks that don't have any money to put gifts under the tree or make a cake or take care of their family members. And they're gonna be worried and they're gonna be concerned on top of unemployment as well. The least that we can do in Congress is try to make sure that they have the aid to get them through this period. So, I mean, those are two from Texas congressmen, and I agree, and that everyone says they don't disagree that relief is needed, they're just having the issues on how much relief should be given. Alrighty, so it's a matter of partnership aside and working together. Now also Big Gretch, all right, we got Big Gretch out of Michigan. She's asking for the Michigan legislator right now to give a hundred million stimulus package for more public health me measures. So she actually wrote a letter to the Republicans in the controlled legislator. She said, hey, she's asked the White House for federal help and she hasn't received any response. She spoke with Do President Donald Trump directly about relief at the White House, but he declined to give her any specific details. And she said that a hundred million would really go directly to families that are struggling, small businesses. She does not mention whether the package could impact taxes or not. She said, while we must continue to advocate for meaningful support from the federal government, we simply cannot afford to wait. She says she knows that the states will be facing a billion dollar shortfall next year and there will be limited funds to go around. So guys, there's still much talk with the stimulus. I mean, we all talk, 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 right? We need to get some things done, but it's still not a no and the need is still there as well. So that's what we have going on with stimulus. Now in unemployment, fake unemployment cards are showing up in Louisiana and they are coming fully loaded with money. So I, I wouldn't spend it if I was you, you know, if you didn't apply for it. But there are residents across Louisiana, they are receiving letters tied to unemployment claims. Now they're saying these letters are fake and the approval for benefits and they're receiving debit cards loaded with cash on it. 
and they have their address on them and some people said they didn't even apply for this but they said when they went to try to verify the information had been stolen some people contacted the department uh, the workforce department and they had an automated system that said that their social security number did not match the claims that were associated with the address and as of right now another new orleans resident said that they received something from workers compensation claiming that they were approved for the unemployment benefits but he had not even applied for them and then several days earlier his son had applied for him and the same day that his son applied he got a letter saying that he was approved with the card on there so it's called that a speedy check right <laughs> you apply the same day and get the money but as of right now they're saying no it's not it's not so if you receive one of those letters with the cards as tempting as it may be to spend the cash on the card don't do it don't do it don't do it don't do it you don't even want the karma that's gonna come back around and depending on the amount of money you might be locked up they won't let you out you'll be like nuke bizzle right remember him he doesn't have to sell cocaine all he has to do is file a claim and now he's behind bars clink clink all right here so moving along with hazard pay the shop right union actually reaches a deal for a retroactive hazard pay in these three states connecticut new york and new jersey so the the union that represents around 13,000 shop right employees in connecticut has reached an agreement and what they said that they're going to do retroactive pay for some hours for the grocery stores that have worked during the pandemic over the summer now the united food and commercial workers international union that's a mouthful Alrighty, announced the deal later this week and the agreement will cover more than 74,000 workers in New York, more than 52,000 workers in New Jersey. The retroactive pay will be provided to each employee in a lump sum payment equal to $1 per hour for all the hours that will work between July 26 and August 22nd. Now, is it me or could they have not went back to March? You know, could you not went March, April, May? But you know what? Can't be greedy. You got to take what you can get, right? So they're going to get a dollar per hour and depending on that can add up. That's another Christmas gift or it could be another, you know, PlayStation 5 that I still can't get my hands on. So with my family who got the hookup i'm gonna pay right i'm gonna pay the full price let me know who is getting ready to sell the playstation 5 if push come to shove i just gotta go on amazon and order it for these high wages i don't want to Alrighty. so also in louisiana fema fema is letting people know they still have money available for individual and public assistance so following major disasters such as hurricanes, tornadoes, the strong winds, the flooding, everything that could happen in Louisiana, FEMA has two main types of support. That's individual assistance and public assistance. Now they said for eligible individuals and households, you must, ha must have stained a direct loss from the disaster for you to get the federal assistance declaration so homeowners and renters officially designated in those counties who sustain damage to their homes their vehicles personal property inventory your business you can apply for it too the assistance can include grants to pay for temporary housing emergency home repairs uninsured personal property losses medical dental funeral caused by the disaster together with serious disaster related expenses now these grants are not taxable income and they do not affect your eligibility with social security medicaid medical waiver programs welfare assistance temporary assistance for needy families food stamps ssi ssdi or any other federal benefits so as a fema partner they said that you can apply if you have been affected at all by any of the hurricanes, tornadoes, strong winds as well. And they do have the money still available. So, hey, if you need some money, go get it. Also in Oregon, the Oregonian. I think I said that right. The Oregon. Yeah, we're going to say that. All right. They serve the community as well. They are giving out individual grants between $500 and $15,000 per month. That's individual grants, individuals, 500 to 15 stacks, right? 
And then businesses that are in need can apply as well at the OregonianCares.com. The application is streamlined and only takes a few minutes and each application will be screened within two business days of submission and you will be contacted by email or phone number that you provided. So if you need some assistance and you're in Oregon, yeah, $500 to 15,000, where do I sign up at? I'm just saying, where, and it's only two minutes to apply and I know in two days if I get the money, how can you not apply? What, what are we thinking right now? All righty here. Now I have a question. We have some ask Shalay questions. Anne says, hey Shalay, hey girl. She says, I've been looking and looking in Georgia for an electric bill and I cannot find them. Is the pow my power is gonna be turned off on the 8th, please help. Are we talking about the 8th of December? Cause girl, if you sent this before then in November, I'm sorry girl. But okay, so you did not put what part of Georgia you stayed in and you did not put the county, you did not put anything. But what I did find was three places in Georgia so far, and this was just a quick search cause I didn't know what to find for you sis. Okay, so in Chambly County, the city of Apple city is accepting applications to help residents with rental and utility assistance. And Chambly said, according to the press release, the city of Chambly and St. Vincent de DePaul of Georgia are coming together to provide rent and utility assistance for Chambly residents. Now they do have a criteria. Then I had Statesboro, Georgia. There were housing costs and utility assistance available. They are accepting applications for mortgage and rental assistance as well as the electrical assistance as well. And they said that they are taking applications. They will give you a grant up to $175. And then in Union City, Georgia, the mayor Vince Williams said he's grateful the city can provide a bit of relief with the pandemic for some of its 20,000 residents. So I hope one of those places help you, but you didn't put anything, so that's all I can find. All right, so the next one, oh, this comes from Linda. Listen, Linda, 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 hey girl. All right, so she says, not a question, but I read on Google, Walmart is going to be restocking the PlayStation 5 like you wanted before Christmas, not only Walmart. Well, thank you, Linda. I will be looking because I need one. All right, the next one comes from Tanisha. She says, hey, Shalay, I recently purchased your book, but it's not allowing me to download it on my phone or tablet. Please help. Girl, all you gotta do is send me an email. Sometimes, you know, you have those little difficulties that's going on, okay? Who knows what happens? But if you also check your email, if you look in the promotions or spam folder, it does have in there where you receive a receipt and your receipt has a download now on there as well, where you can always download this book. So that's for anyone that purchased the book, a receipt will come to you on there on the receipt. It has a download now. So you can continue to download it no matter what device you have or anything. But Tanisha, send me an email. I have the email that's listed where you purchased it and girl, we'll get you all taken care of. And for those that don't have a book, girl, get you a book too, okay? Cause you're trying to make this money as well. The next person comes from Jackie. Jackie says, do you have any information on any programs that can help with rent and utilities here in Indianapolis, Indiana? Is Indiana going to receive a stimulus package or unemployment benefit package by the end of the year? How can I find out if I qualify for a stimulus package? Will Indiana inform the citizens they're going to receive or release the stimulus package? And when are they going to reinstate the unemployment benefits package? Girl. Jackie, you made sure you cover everything about Indiana, okay? The Hoosiers, okay. So first and foremost, I went on there and I looked for Indianapolis. I could not find any rent or utility assistance programs that were still open. So they did programs in June, July, August, September, and the last one I seen was for October for Indianapolis and it did not state if they were still accepting applications. I'll link the information down below where you can go check on it there, but I didn't see anything upcoming. The next question you ask are, is Indiana gonna receive the stimulus package or unemployment benefits package by the end of the year? Girl, we don't know who is gonna receive it. As of right now, it did not say that Indiana was going to be doing another package. In June, Indiana gave out like $335 or 375 as their own stimulus, but that has passed. And a lot of this happening, guys, a lot of states were giving out money and stuff, but now, new fiscal year. That money is gone, it's closed for last year, and we gotta see what they're gonna do with this year's money. The next question you ask, how do you find out if you qualify for the stimulus? Once the new stimulus, or if they have a new stimulus, they will have more information, I will be providing it. But if you searched on Google, it might not be anything that's going on right now. And will they inform? Maybe they will inform. I would check your local news, check you know the newspaper, 
watch the news on there check google if i happen to come across it you know i got you and when are they going to reinstate the unemployment benefits as of right now unemployment is a touchy subject because a lot of people are set to lose their unemployment few days after Christmas so they haven't really said anything that's all I got guys thank you as always for tuning in each and every single day I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're having a great Sunday it's a little bit gloomy here in Indiana I mean look I don't even stay in Indiana now she got me saying Indiana look here Jackie you didn't ask all these questions it's a gloomy day here in Alabama but guys as always please like comment subscribe and I will talk to you tomorrow and if you have a question if you have a question, whether it's regarding stimulus, life, anything, submit those questions to actually, I enjoy reading them. If you have just some type of life event that you want me to help out or you want my advice, ask me that as well. I'll go ahead and help you, girl. All right, as always, talk to you later. Bye, guys.